This is Matthew of Another World Terraria, where I teach and inspire you on the topics of rare plants and artistic nature displays. In this video, I'll show you all my plants which bloomed in March 2024. Here's a really unique and beautiful terrestrial bromeliad called Syncoria raphilii. It's got those nice long thin leaves with the barbed teeth on it. And the growth form typically before it blooms has leaves going upright in a grassy form. And then when it blooms, the leaves go out to the side more like you see here. So the, some of those leaves were more upright going kind of straight up like a grass and then they flatten out and then the flowers come right out the center. Uh, and they also get that red flush of color in the center as well when they bloom. Here's a real beauty. This is Jesneria cuneifolia, which is endemic to Puerto Rico. It is a Jesneriad. Aside from the interesting foliage that has a nice texture, uh, it is just really a flame with these stunning tubular flowers that are a uh, bright orange and red. Okay, this is Pseudoripsalis amazonica, which is an epiphytic cacti that grows in the jungle, believe it or not. And this one was featured in my 2024 March vlog. And you can see these tubular flowers that seem to almost glow like fluorescent, unbelievable pink and purple. This is Columnia brenneri, which is a Gisneriad. And it's a medium-sized species within the genus. And it has very prominent hairs across the entire flower, as well as the base where the sepals are and the calyx. And it also produces these interesting pink berries, which are very plump and about a half inch in size. Here is a classic micro Gisneriad. This is Syningia pusilla. You can see the little tiny pinkish purple flowers, little trumpet shape, beautiful foliage with hairs and nice texture and darker veining contrasting the green leaves. And this species is from Brazil where it naturally grows on the sides and tops of mossy boulders right over the river where it's very humid and in quite a bit of shade. Here's a really cool plant which is in the bamboo family. This is a species of Cryptocloa and it has a unique growth form, kind of a fountain with upright stems and then arching almost uh, frond-like leaves and stems. It's pretty difficult to get a shot of this flower because it's only about a quarter of an inch and it's just a little fluffy white kind of hairy puffball. But that's really cool. And yeah, that'll produce a seed pod and then they just kind of pop open and fly everywhere. And then you get little seedling, little baby plants. You can see there's even some sprouting on the side of the pot that was down in the grow tent in the wet area there. Here's a pretty extreme bin that's just full of this Sonorilla species, which I think goes by the trade name Fluo. So here's the blooms. Just a really bright pink with a really contrasting yellow. Some nice hairs there on the outside of the blooms too. Okay, so this is Begonia von Kirkavenii, which is a very nice miniature species. This is as large as it gets, which is about six inches tall and the foliage is about three quarters of an inch long and it's got Cute little yellow flowers with the reddish orange stripes coming out from the center there. This is a species of Columnia from South America. I don't know the exact origin, but it's got some beautiful foliage, nice texture, elegant shape. Something really beautiful about this plant is the reddish spots and splotches that it has under the leaves as well as these purple hairs that cover the stems and the leaves, these splotches on the stems. But the most amazing thing on this plant is this flower with red, orange, and yellow, making it look like a flame and covered in white hairs, extremely hairy. The cool thing about the yellow flower 
on the tip is that the pedals are slightly transparent, which adds a very unique look to those. This absolute unit is Tillandsia chiapensis giant form. This thing is just a real beauty. The plant, obviously, just those whitish scales over the pink leaves, but of course, the unbelievable inflorescence right here, which looks like a you know unicorn horn or a dragon tail or something like that. And it's got the stunning purplish flower coming out with that contrasting yellow pollen. Really, really nice Tillandsia. So here I have a shrubby begonia, which is well over 30 inches tall. It's practically three feet tall at this point with gorgeous foliage. It's got texture there with the veins and nice coloration. Some of them with a bluish iridescence almost. This is Begonia bileofolia and it is from Ecuador. So there's the inflorescence. It's got male and female flowers on the same plant. And I did in fact collect a couple of male flowers and letting them dry so that I can get pollen. And then I will pollinate those, some of those female flowers and see if I can get seeds. This is a terrestrial orchid in the genus Caribus. This is one of the more common species Caribus geminigibus. Caribus are well known for their single leaf that grows off of a small tuber and then a single bloom that goes along with each leaf. And they come in different uh, patterns and colors and things in the flowers, different shapes. And then what happens is the flower will die and the leaf will die back. And meanwhile, the tuber will be growing uh, runners underground and spreading into multiple more tubers and then that cycle continues and it kind of goes through semi-dormancy periods. Down here in the deep shade at the bottom of the tent under the larger begonian ferns is this begonia Togbanua. It's got some beautiful white flowers with a very slight pinkish hue. Here's a gorgeous terrestrial orchid in the genus Crepidium. It's got a very interesting alternating ladder-like growth that gets tall and it has the undulate wavy leaf edges with the contrasting kind of purplish color and the bright green. The flowers are these inflorescence spikes with very, very tiny, rich purple, very deep purple flowers. Here is Pinguicula gigantea, which is one of the largest species in the genus. It can get probably two to three times the size of this plant, but nevertheless, it is in bloom. Got some nice, very light purple flowers there. This is Nautila calyx pemphidius, which is one of the plants featured in my favorite plants of 2023 video and is one of my all time favorites. It's got that wonderful bullate textured foliage with the bumps on it, incredible green and bronze colors and those stunning little white flowers that contrast that foliage beautifully. Very nice growth form, graceful. Comes from the very shady forests in Venezuela, which where it hangs on rocks, grows as an, a lithophyte. This is the cloud forest oxalis species, which is unidentified, potentially undescribed, with those beautiful, striking, lemon yellow, pure yellow flowers with no markings on them, or at least there are sort of like lines on the inside of them, but they're extremely faint. So there's a couple inflorescences. This one is actually really blooms frequently. It's in, it's in bloom almost all the time. So believe it or not, this is actually a begonia. The species is herbacea, and it's frequently misidentified or mislabeled in the hobby as begonia lanceolata and vice versa, begonia lanceolata is frequently misidentified as begonia herbacea. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful plant, really graceful, nice, interesting foliage, nothing like a begonia that you would expect, and uh, this one is in bloom right there. The interesting thing about this species flowers is that the male flowers are held up on a stalk like that, and the female flowers are held very close to the base, down near the rhizome, just above the soil, and they're really small. Here is Syningia muscacola, which used to be known as Syningia rio dos pedras. 
because it was discovered in that location in Brazil where it's endemic. Yeah, it's one of the best micro miniature um, plants. It's got very nice texture, color, pattern on the leaves, and it's almost always in bloom with these pinkish purple flowers and it self seeds readily. It's just really a great plant. This is a stunning bromeliad from Brazil, near Regilia ampulacea, and it's just got that beautiful banded foliage, and this guy is in bloom right now. Got some nice white flowers down in the center of the tank there. Really nice stripes on the pure white flowers there. This is Pinguicula cyclosecta, uh, they're commonly known as butterworts, and the cool thing about the cyclosecta is the foliage which has kind of a purplish hue to it, and of course the beautiful purple flowers as well. If you enjoy my videos, please consider giving them a like and join Team Terraria by subscribing now. Remember to click the bell so you'll get notified when I post new content.